Good morning, my name is Alan Mayer. I'm a retired Anglican priest and I'm taking us through the Bible in 365 readings. At the moment we're looking at some of the ancient sagas and laws in the Old Testament and particularly at the moment with the covenant of Moses and the new priesthood and the kind of things that they did. And today we're going back into the book of Deuteronomy chapter 26 verses 1 to 10 looking at the origins of the Harvest Festival, and along with that, an ancient Jewish creed. So, after you have taken possession of the land that Yahweh your God is giving to you, once you have settled there, everyone must put the first part of each crop that, you're, that you harvest in a basket. Then you must take it with you, to the unique place of worship. Go to the priest in charge at the time and say to him, I acknowledge right now to Yahweh my God that I have come into the land and that into the land that he promised to our ancestors that he would give us. The priest will take the basket from you and lay it down in front of Yahweh your God's altar. And then, in the presence of Yahweh, you will recite these words. My forebear was a nomadic Aramean, who took his family to live in Egypt. When they went there, they were but few, yet they became a numerous and powerful people. The Egyptians treated them badly, forcing us to work as slaves. Then we cried out for help to Yahweh, the God of our forebears. He heard us and beheld our suffering, our hardship and our misery. By his great power and force, he rescued us from Egypt. He worked miracles and wonders and caused fearful things to take place. He brought us here and gave us this lush and fruitful country which is why I have brought to Yahweh the first pickings of the harvest he has given me. The uh, oldest bit of this passage, incorporated into the final story by its later priestly editors, is the part that begins, My forebear was a nomadic Aramean. These and the words following them show all the signs of having become an early kind of national creed dating from primitive times, that they had been incorporated by the priests into the national cult at Jerusalem. Here we see them used as one part of the thanksgiving ritual which accompanied the offerings of the first fruits of the harvest. This gave the early Israelites a pattern for other festivals, which in time all had these two elements attached, an offering and a profession of faith. It was, of course, important to bring the annual miracle of seeds growing into a harvest within the orbit of Yahweh's providence, since many of the pagan faiths current in Palestine during the settlement of the land were nature and fertility cults that already made temptingly full provision for such celebrations. So, along with the annual Passover to commemorate the release from slavery each spring, this festival of the first fruits of harvest may well have been one of the most basic of festivals that came into being. It still retains its power today, and since the revival of harvest festivals in churches in the 19th century, and the growing concern about the effects of humanity on the environment since then, it has gained in importance for us in our own time. We too should be thankful for the providence that made a world that can feed and sustain us. And we too need to call to mind our responsibility to care for it and nurture it back to health. Now tomorrow, a surprising reference to God as our mother from this same ancient source. See you then.